Welcome to TwinCities.com and another edition of Tark Talk with Hall of Fame quarterback Mr. Fran Tarkenton. And Fran, a lot of people are asking about Christian Ponder's struggles these last few weeks. Give me your take on the young man. Well, you know, he's a rookie and uh, the team is struggling. It's at the end of the year. This is an organization that's used to winning and used to competing for championships and winning division titles and it's not. And it's not a lot of motivation anywhere around the Twin City area and I understand that. But Christian Ponder is just fine. All quarterbacks struggle. Uh, I struggled in my early years. I'd have good games, bad games. My second year, we won two games. My first year, we won three games. We had a worse time our second year. Uh, uh, Peyton Manning, I think his first year. It was pretty brutal. Uh, uh, well, no, it wasn't. He, he, he only won three games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he struggled through his whole rookie year. Uh, and, and that happens. He's in the learning process. But he doesn't have, you know, the, the kind of teams that have normally we've seen in Minnesota over the last five or six years. That'll all pass. Christian Ponder is fine. Leave him alone. He'll grow. He'll make mistakes. He'll learn from the mistakes, and he'll get better, and he'll get uh, uh, better in the next uh, next year. And, and, and he's a quarterback that uh, I think has, uh, as I said a few weeks ago, he's a great future in the National Football League. He's building a foundation. Remember this. You don't learn anything from winning. You learn from losing. And the Vikings are having plenty of losing, and Christian and Ponder's having, having some struggles, but he'll learn from that. Smart kid. Okay, but what if by some circumstance they're in a position yep. to actually take Andrew Luck? Well, what do they do? They're in a position to have the number one pick of the draft. I'm not the number one pick, the second pick of the draft. And they're in the hunt for that. I think it'll be a great thing that they can have the number one pick of the draft. Should they draft Andrew Luck? I'm, they're, they're smart people. They're running the Vikings. They understand drafting and uh, praising talent. So what's going to be the best thing to get the most best football players in Minnesota? Christian Ponder can play the quarterback position for a long time and be really, really good. Can Andrew Luck? I think he can. Would it be wise to have them both there? No. So how do you use trade bait this? Maybe you trade the number one pick to get three number ones because everybody wants Andrew Luck. Right. Uh, that, are, that are desperate to have a quarterback. We're not desperate to have a quarterback in Minnesota, so I think if we have the number one pick of the draft, it would be a great thing, and then let's use it to maximize the number of quality players that we can bring into this franchise. Okay, well, one guy who's been rock solid for the franchise yep. was back this week off an ankle injury, yep. Adrian Peterson. Give me your take on Adrian Peterson, because well, I know you're a fan. I think he's uh, one of the most dominant running backs I've ever seen in football. Tremendous young man, runs hard, plays hard. Everything you want in a football player, Adrian Peterson has. And, and uh, I appreciate him coming back and playing here at the end of the year. I'd like to see him just take a rest. <laughs> I'd like to see him stay healthy. Running backs don't have a long life, as we know. They, by the time they get to 30, we've seen the best of them. And I'd like to see him preserved, but he still has some good years for this franchise. And that's a great building block to have in Adrian Peterson, not only for his talent, but for his the character, the type of guy he is. Well, and I know you've mentioned him in the same breath as Jimmy Brown, but who do you, who would you take? Well, Jimmy Brown's the greatest running back that ever lived, in my mind. I, I played with him in, in Pro Bowls. I played against him. Uh, he, he retired at age 30, and he just simply dominated. He didn't block anybody, uh, <laughs> but he didn't he didn't have to block anybody. But he could. Uh, he was a 230 pound, six foot two, strong as an ox. It was before weightlifting, before all the HGH and all the stuff. And he was stronger than everybody, and he could run a 4-3-40. And he had great athletic ability. Uh, I've never seen a running back like Jimmy Brown, and, and as, as good as Adrian Peterson is, Jimmy Brown's the greatest I've ever seen. Okay, and then, of course, i got to ask you about kind of the big game this past week, good versus evil, Tom Brady versus Tim Tebow. Well, you know, now Tebow had won, what, six straight or five straight or whatever it was, and Brady is Brady is the icon, and you start to see the game, and... and, and, and uh, New England gave up over 200 yards the first quarter, Un unheard of. And now they say, oh, Tebow couldn't throw and this and that. Tebow is doing just fine. He can throw the ball. He's working hard to be an NFL quarterback. That's not easy. Obviously, Tom Brady's already pretty good. Sure, absolutely. Well, we appreciate you joining us for another edition of Tark Talk. You heard it here first from Hall of Fame quarterback, Mr. Fran Tarkenton. And make sure to join us back next week right here at TwinCities.com for another edition of Tark Talk.